A warm welcome to each one of you. It is a great honor to welcome you all for the inauguration of the Executive Masters in Business Administration, EMBA program in Maritime Management, Logistics, and Supply Chain. This pioneering initiative is brought to you by the Company of Master Mariners of India in collaboration with the prestigious Indian Institute of Management, Mumbai. We take pride in sharing that our EMBA program is designed in alignment with the Government of India's ambitious Maritime Vision 2047, led by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. In the world of characterized by technological advancements and shifting business dynamics, this program is both timely and essential. By combining IIM Mumbai's academic rigor with CMMI's industry expertise, we are equipping you with the tools to navigate and lead in this complex environment. Our goal is to contribute significantly to skill development and advancements in the logistics, infrastructure, and shipping sectors. By equip equipping professionals with cutting edge knowledge and expertise, we aim to support the long-term vision of transforming and modernizing India's maritime industry and its workforce. I extend a warm welcome to our dignitaries and esteemed members, faculty representatives of the industry and everyone present here. I would like to now take a few moments and felicitate all those who have contributed to this uh, work that has gone in this last couple of years with IIM Mumbai and CMMI. So I would like to call upon to give a couple of bouquets in the meantime, till our DG shipping is here. So can we start with Captain Pankaj Kapoor? Can you come up? OK. Uh, can I have Captain Basin give a bouquet to Captain Tyagi? It's on stage. Yeah, please. Captain Philip, can you please come up on stage to give a bouquet to Arun Sharma, sir? Captain Philip? Captain Mohan Naik, please. Captain Halbe, can you please come up? Professor Kanapuri, sir. Uh, Captain Sashi Kumar, can you please give the bouquet to? Captain Kanapuri is a Dean SRIC. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Professor Rauf Iqbal, uh, could you please come up? Captain Philip. OK. Uh, Cap Captain Debu. Uh, Rauf Iqbal is a Dean Student Affairs. <laughs> Captain Sashi. Professor Shankar Murthy, Chairperson CSR Activities and Professor Sustainability Area. Captain Debu, to Professor 
सुमी सुमी झा चेयरपर्सन एकेडेमिक प्रोग्राम प्रोफेसर विपन इज द चेयरपर्सन ई एम बी ए कैप्टन सरीन professor justice we co chair captain debu professor ms mahapatra faculty in charge captain sarin अजित सुकुमारन अजित सुकुमार सर प्लीज कैप्टन आजाद इज यर एच के जोशी मैडम कैप्टन कमल चड्डा Could you please give a bouquet? Later. Today, sir. Next thing, finish. the lighting of the lamp when the dg shipping comes so that we don't waste our uh, your valuable time so that uh, the program can continue i would like to now it is my pleasure to introduce you to captain k n debu principal and director of anglo eastern maritime training center captain debu is a highly respected figure in the maritime industry known for his extensive experience and significant contributions to the maritime training and education without further ado i would like now to invite captain kc debu on stage to take over as master of ceremonies for the rest of the program please join me in welcoming welcoming him to the dais good evening sir good evening. Then I'll do the lighting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We will invite a master to give a bouquet to. डी जी शॉपिंग श्री श्याम जगन्नाथन जी सो वील रिक्वेस्ट श्री श्याम जगन्नाथन जी and others to come on the dais to light the lamp so i will call shyam jagannath ji ji professor khana pure shri arun sharma ji captain bk tyagi ji and our master Shankar 
Thank you, sir. If you can uh, come and see, sit on the dais, please. Captain Basin, Captain Basin, yes, please, sir, yeah, on the stage. Please have a seat. Seat on the dais. So we'll start a program. Shri Sham Jagannathan Ji. Professor Khanapuri, Captain B.K. Tyagi, Sri Arun Sharma ji, and Master Mahindra Basin ji, dignitaries and doyans from the maritime industry, professors from IIM Mumbai, lead faculty for the maritime subjects who are seated here also, and our esteemed guest, wish you a very good evening. My name is uh, Ketsi Debu. Uh, and uh, I will be the master of ceremonies for this day. So today it's a momentous day for CMMI and the Maritime Fraternity. And I'm sure it is so for IIM Mumbai also, as we are all here to launch the long awaited and prestigious executive masters of business administration program in maritime management, logistics and supply chain. A CMI was in talks with the erstwhile NITI, that is the National Institute of Industrial Engineering, since several years. The past master, CMMI, Captain B.K. Jha, who is seated in the front row here, had initiated the dialogue with NITI long, long back. And an MOU was already also signed between CMMI and NITI in 2003. In August 2023, NITI became Institute of Management Mumbai, and the new CMMI court took upon the task of revising the MOU and developing the executive MBA program along with Professor Khanapuri, Professor Sumi Jha, and the program in charge, Professor Vipin Kumar of IIM Mumbai. After a number of iterations, we decided that the program should be a comprehensive one, covering all aspects of maritime management along with logistics and supply chain, which gives a wider scope encompassing transportation of goods across the country and then shipping it overseas. In the process of developing the two-year program, one realizes, and definitely myself, I came to realize how little we know of the entire supply chain. A mariner coming ashore after several years in a senior management position on the ship is almost like a cadet when he steps ashore. Albeit a cadet, a little bit uh, uh, qualification to that, albeit a uh, cadet with a little attitude. <laughs> Many of you sitting, sitting here are ex-mariners and will understand this feeling. I remember my first few days when I joined as a training manager in my company. The office staff prepared letters for my signature and designated me as a trainee manager instead of training manager because they had never heard the word training manager before. Because, of course, I was all at sea with the day-to-day -day workings in, a, in an office. So this EMBA, as we call it short form, executive MBA, is a real boon not only to the mariners stepping ashore, but also to other graduates currently working in the shipping and logistics sector to learn the management skills and also maritime domain knowledge so that one gets a real jump in your career. So the program is divided into core management courses, core maritime courses, management electives and maritime electives, global online course, internship program, and finally, a capstone project. I will leave the details for our later speakers to talk about. So in, to start with, I will invite Captain Mahendra Singh 
Master, Company of Master Mariners India, to give his opening address. Good evening. When you get a person like Captain Debu to be a M master of ceremony, it doesn't leave anything else for others to speak. <laughs> he has taken away at least 25% of my work. Our chief guest, Shri Sham Jagannathanji, Director General of Shipping, Professor Vivekanand Khanapuri, sir, Dean, I am Mumbai. Captain B.K. Tyagi, Chairman, SCI, Mr. Arun Sharma, Executive Chairman, IRS, eminent members of Maritime Fraternity, eminent members of IM Mumbai, the logistic community, supply chain community, commercial shipping, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening again. It's with immense pride and profound satisfaction I will repeat this line. It is with immense pride and profound satisfaction that I address you today on this momentous occasion of inaugurating Executive MBA in Maritime Management, Logistics and Supply Chain. This landmark initiative is the result of remarkable collaboration between the Indian Institute of Management, Mumbai, and the Company of Master Managers of India, CMMI. Today, the event is more than unveiling of a new educational offering. It signifies a pivotal achievement in our quest to enhance maritime education and management standards in India. For years, the Company of Master Mariners of India has been steadfast advocate for professional excellence in mercantile marine sector, with over 4,000 distinguished members who hold prominent positions across the global shipping industry. CMI has been a long beacon of maritime knowledge and tradition with its over 21 chapters within India and three overseas branches. Now I will go to a little bit of nostalgic thought, though Captain Debu spoke a bit, what all has been signed, but I will take you to the dates. It is not that you just got an invitation suddenly a few months back, there is an executive MBA program, or oh, now we are doing a launch party. It's a hard work of few years, rather several years. So allow me some time. The creation of this executive MBA program has been journey marked by dedication, collaboration, and vision. It all began on September 6, 2019. September 6, 2019, we are almost four years. Our last master, the chairman, CMI, Captain B.K. Jha, I remember this date when he called me Captain Kastu Pradhan and Captain Sasi Kumar. And he gave this project in our hand. I was secretary general under him in CMI. He told me, Captain Basin, we have to get this thing to the court. September 6, 2019. I'll be very honest. When we read so many papers, half of it was going over my head. We couldn't understand. Then we arranged a meeting with Captain Yashovardhan Sharma, Captain Arun Mehta, and they gave us a little bit of overview, and we made a paper to present to our CMI court, which is like a CMI directors, for the approval. Fair enough, in our first meeting in the court, all the wardens, all the directors said, we need more inputs. And then, in the next court meeting, we called Captain Yoshan Sharma, Captain Anand Mehta, and we also called Mr. Anand Tripathi to tell the court what is this project about. That was the little bit of history I'm giving you. And full court, I mean, I, I see many members uh, from the last court also here. They really appreciated the idea. 
they cautioned us also that it is there will be a stiff competition but we were steadfast in our focus area that till today there is no executive mba in india which combines logistic supply chain with maritime management so that was the vision that was the focus area and i'm grateful to all our wardens of the last court who approved this subject and this project in this way that was a little bit of the past i actually forgot to mention uh, captain sasi kumar because when we were meeting he was the man who was keeping notes and giving it to the court i must mention that going forward after the court thing we went to i am mumbai again and we started interacting with them i am mumbai professor manoj tiwari founding director of iim professor vivekanand kanpuri professor sumi ja and their team they were instrumental in putting forth this whole aspect of executive mba mind it it was not just the one meeting several meetings over the years where we took the feedback of the seafarers we took the feedback of the commercial sector shipping when they told us there is nothing we want our people our own executive non seafarers to do course like this or our seafarers they may be master mariners or chief engineer come to logistic supply chain the know how or the knowledge was very minimal that was the time when this collaboration took place and the thought process took place we gave many tough demands to i am mumbai and i must acknowledge that they were very forthcoming very adjustable and gave us full support and to and we also told them what the seafaring community is we explained to them each and everything about that our team presented a compelling business case after getting the approval the amounts and everything back to the court and with the objective strategy scope the signing of the mou between the cmi and niti the i am mumbai ast while was niti was signed on 18th of january 2023 a marked significant milestone at that time a big round of applause for this the first mou was signed on the 18th of january 2023 what happens next 18th august exactly after 7 months 18th august 2023 niti mumbai becomes iim mumbai 16th august that is why this professor sitting here the i am they are very sharp they caught me there only it is not 18th ma'am thank you 16th august 2023 the niti was got the status of iim mumbai and that opens a flood gate of uh, enhanced collaboration enhanced work for both the parties i will take like to take few names the people who were instrumental i have already taken the name of captain bk jai and initial team but with the election of the new court when i became the master the chairman of cmi we had a new court the new committee took over and the first person who took over was captain kapil dev bhel he is not here i am sure he must be listening he is in dubai right now he took the charge and worked diligently with i am mumbai to refine and structure the program captain bhel went into so many details to ensure sensitivity of the program and made the foundation of the course which is stands today then our current company in the very able hand of our executive mba chairman went to captain shiv halbe who, who is aptly supported by the project manager captain kapoor and his teammates captain bk jha captain philip matthew captain cl dubey captain m santa kumar captain k n debu captain s t sridharan along with of course initial people captain yashobardhan sharma and captain arun mehta the collective leadership of this committee the collective leadership of this committee is what we have the product today 
as we launch the executive People always get the phone calls. When you are incurring and manning, your phone never stops. Okay. As we launch this executive MBA program today, we celebrate not only the culmination of extensive efforts, as stated by me earlier, but also the dawn of the new era in maritime education and management. This program is testament to our commitment to developing next generation of maritime leaders equipped with expertise to navigate the complexities of global logistics and supply chain management. Captain Bandarka earlier spoke about 2047 vision. We also have a government Gati Shakti program. A lot of inputs has been given by government of India, especially in the logistics and supply chain. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to everyone who has played a role in turning this vision and rea into reality. Our dedicated faculty, staff, industry partners, most important, the future students who will embark on this transformation journey. I remember in 2021, when we met uh, Professor Manoj Tiwari, the director of IAM, he is not here today. He said, irrespective of anything, quality of the course, the quality of the student, the first batch will be your ambassador. Do not compromise on quality. And that is what was taken by the, our current committee and the collaboration between both the institutes. Let us continue to uphold the standards of excellence that define the company of masterminds of India and contribute the significantly to the advance of our maritime industry. The collaboration and support of IIM Mumbai remains magnificent, just like their magnificent, beautiful campus. The various maritime organizations, commercials, Mansa, CSLA, IMEI, CMI, our CMI various chapter chairmen, I must say our project manager, Captain Kapoor, in 15 days, he traveled to at least 10 cities. And all the chapter chairmen, they gathered the local people, whether it was Bangalore, Calcutta, Chandigarh, uh, Chennai, Delhi. Everywhere we traveled, we gathered the people like this and we explained them. Navi Mumbai, everywhere. It's not only in Mumbai. And we, gave, we have the students now. I'm so proud. I was earlier told by Captain Halbi and Captain Kapoor, Today, we have 39 students who have registered. So big round of applause for all the students. But that keeps us going. That is the main thing for all of us. Lastly, I will repeat a few words. I once again acknowledge the support of Director General of Shipping, Indian Institute of Mumbai, whole maritime industry, the company of Master Miners of India for providing this unique, robust, and much awaited executive MBA course toward the need of the industry. Thank you. Taliyan thoda jor se bajai hai. Mujhe taliyan bajane ki bhi aadat hai, bajwane ki bhi. Thank you, Captain Basin. As you can see, Captain Basin is our effervescent master and brings a lot of energy and constantly motivates MMI wardens towards new ideas and projects. And he has been involved in guiding this program and attending several meetings which we had with IIM Mumbai at their campus. It was wonderful to attend these meetings at IIM premises. And I remember our uh, first meeting also with, uh, with the director, Professor Tiwari. And uh, he was so gra gracious in handing over a book on logistics, where actually he's an expert in that field. And, and uh, I think all the students, I think there are a few students. Can you put up your hands here, those who have come? Excellent. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So this book is a tome for you to read during this, uh, your program. Yeah. So don't miss out on that by Professor Tiwari. So going to our next uh, speaker, uh, Professor Vivekanand Kanapuri.
Before that, I think uh, we have our uh, nautical advisor, Captain Azad, who's come. Captain Azad, if, you, if I can request you to come forward and receive a bouquet from the CMMI. And thank you very much for making time to come here, sir. Captain Bandarkar, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, come in, come, come in front, sir. Thank you, uh, Professor Vivekanand Khanepure is a prominent academic and industry expert, serving as a professor of operations and supply chain management at Indian Institute of Management, Mumbai. Prior to academics, he has six years hands-on industry experience. And he marries his experience with his academic and consulting work. His intellectual contributions include numerous research papers in national and international journals and conferences. He is currently uh, sorry, he was, he was the Dean of Academic Affairs 2017 to 2019, and currently he is the Dean of SRIC IIM Mumbai. So let us welcome Captain Khamanapuri to the stage to give his presentation. Thank you. So it feels so nice, right? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, everybody keeps calling you professor, doctor, and then suddenly you are calling us Captain Khanapuri, Captain Khanapuri. Thank you very much, right, uh, giving me this opportunity. Uh, a warm good evening to all of you. Uh, I stand here on behalf of my director, Professor Manoj Kumar Tiwari, uh, because of his uh, pressing engagements, uh, he could not make it for this event. All the same, uh, as a professor, I will take this opportunity to speak for some time. While normally professors, once they stand up on the dice, it's 90 minutes flat. flat. But so I'm not going to engage you for 90 minutes. But still, I'll make it uh, a little bit more, uh, uh, I'll say, uh, more uh, some of these things which uh, probably he has missed out. I'll try to cover it up. Uh, once again, uh, dignitaries on the dice, uh, Sham Jagannath ji, I think we met after a long time. We had met earlier in SIPS. Uh, then uh, Captain VK Tyagi ji, then uh, Captain Basin ji, then uh, Captain uh, Jaha, BK Jaha ji. Uh, and I would like to mention two names. Uh, probably we'll all be missing out uh, if I don't tell them uh, here. One is my colleague, uh, Professor Shankar Murthy, who also was very much involved right from the beginning. Uh, he was the dean academic uh, then. And uh, the second person, probably from, uh, uh, from uh, the CMMI, is uh, Mr. Anand Tripathi. Uh, while uh, each one of us have played some role, I take this opportunity to uh, share my views on this subject here. The first thing, executive MBA, right? Uh, I think four or five hands raised here. Uh, each one looks forward to upskill, look at opportunities, whatever are there. How can I leverage my experience? How can I leverage my learning? And the whole, whole journey is on what can I bring value to the table, right? That's the whole purpose. So when I, when I look back, when we started off uh, for the first time, when we initiated this uh, discussion, uh, Captain Jha and all of them, they had come there. The first question was, what is that we want to deliver uh, to the industry? And this, may, uh, this brings me to the point that uh, what is happening globally, right? We as a country want, want to be amongst the uh, top five nations, we are already, I think, three trillion economy, we want to go into five trillion economy, and 
in achieving all these things, uh, one of the important aspects or one of the important contributors to this is logistics and supply chain. And more so because globally, if you look at what is happening here is the entire uh, world, the shipping industry is responsible for close to about carrying about 90% of the world trade. And that makes it very important for us to look at how do we take care of this entire sector with the right kind of competent people who can bring in more value there. The second is in terms of uh, where do we stand right, as a country. Now if you look at, uh, we are I think uh, 16th largest maritime country and uh, probably my statistics uh, uh, Maybe here and there, but I think uh, we have DG shipping, so I'll not like to question my, uh, you know, please don't question my fa facts. Whatever is there from the secondary data, I have collected it. But one thing is for sure, there's a huge potential which I can see. And uh, for those of them who had, uh, uh, I'll say, who have looked at that as an opportunity, wherein post your first career or first innings, you would like to explore what else can be done. I think this is the right kind of uh, uh, direction which you are setting forth for yourself. Because three aspects are very critical. One is the trade, which is, like I said, and what does it contribute in the country as far as maritime is concerned? 95%. 95% of India's trade by volume and 70% by volume uh, value is being contributed by maritime sector. And that is where we said, Yes, it makes a lot of sense for us to contribute in terms of adding some good, capable skill sets here in this domain. The second part is in terms of what happens in terms of this global trade, whatever we are talking of. We have got, for maritime ports, we have got the assets, the vessels, and after its useful life cycle, what happens to them? So it is a complete life cycle, so shipbuilding, using them for trade, using the ports, the resources, and then finally after useful life comes back. Every aspect of that has got a lot of value addition there. And that is precisely where we are looking at experts here in this industry, maritime industry, to be nurtured, to be into global business leaders and to become where they can add value to this entire value chain. Now the other part which is equally important is we are talking about uh, trade happening through bulk, we are trade talking about trade happening through ship containers, there's a lot of opportunities for us to explore, uh, explore on how innovative we can be, how we can be more optimizing the entire resources, how can we be delivering things so that what we are talking of is the current uh, cost uh, to the GDP as far as uh, logistics and supply chain which is about uh, double digit figure. How can we bring it down? And this is where all of you who are going to be nurtured, all right? you have been in the set pattern, you have been working on certain dimensions, but here we are going to bring a different perspective to you. We are going to talk about how you can, how you can look at business from the economics point of view, how you can look at the business from the innovation point of view, how you can look at it from optimization of the resources. There are various perspectives which we are going to give you in this entire two years course. So while, we, while I talk about these things, there are a few challenges which this industry faces and all of us will agree with me that yes, during the COVID, we had the supply chain disruptions. It did have a major impact on varieties of supply chains and a few of the supply chains which you are aware of, at least semiconductor supply chain, which we are aware of. Similarly, in other industry also it did affect. Now interestingly, when uh, Basin sir was talking about uh, 16th August, we were uh, given this recognition as uh, Indian Institute of Management. We always say that yes, we are the most recent entrant to the IIM club, club the youngest IIM. The only thing is the caveat is we are having 60 years of industry experience. We come with 60 years of industry experience and that is what is going to be delivered in this entire program. Now in terms of this institute, what I am trying to refer to as, whether you call it as NITI, whether you call it as the new IIM, 
what we have got to offer we are we are known for our expertise in the area of supply chain we are known for our expertise in all these aspects related to supply chain analytics and we were probably the first institution to talk about sustainability way back in 2000 and just look around every industry is now talking of the need for integrating all these bodies of knowledge along with that what is important is how do we look at finance how do we look at managing the resources the administration this is where one place where we have got all those expertise coming here and going to deliver you on the concepts of general management and integrating it with your knowledge of maritime management where we are going to give you the opportunity to further leverage some of those faculty who are coming from that maritime expertise they will connect you how you can leverage this knowledge for the benefit of the business we understand a lot of other challenges for this industry in terms of infrastructure in terms of regulations in terms of technological integrations and of the more recent ones right we can't live without the uh, i mean we are not uh, uh, left out of the cyber world the cyber risks are always there they have got a huge impact and one needs to understand all these things data is the new gold black gold what we call of uh, call, it, call it as and hence all of you who are going to join for this programs or for those of you who are going to help us in nurturing this future leaders in the maritime industry i'm sure you will address all these aspects of course uh, to meet these challenges what we conceptualize this program it was not an easy journey right uh, when we look at any designing of any of two year programs it's not just that we pick up some two courses three courses from here and do it we have to look at it from what is the overall objective of the program we start with defining the program level objectives and how these program level objectives can be converted into course level objectives and each of these course level objectives get translated into course learning outcomes this is a very serious journey and that's why when we said it's taken a lot of time you have to appreciate that there's a lot of effort which has gone back by my team which has worked on looking at what courses have to be given how it has to be given interestingly we are also trying to give a different perspective in terms of getting the best of the global leaders in this field we have already got uh, as a part of this curriculum design we have got some of these well known uh, professors from mit or uh, uh, probably from the uh, sovik uh, which in was romania right yeah poland so we have got some of the best faculty we are uh, trying to attract deliver some of these sessions so that you are not just going to retain what we call as your expertise in maritime you are going to also integrate the knowledge of management and how this can be contributing much better to the uh, uh, to this field of logistics and supply chain of course uh, i should not be selling uh, this point but you all are aware of it in fact my colleague would have been a much better option to share about his my dean student affairs who knows uh, who also handles uh, the uh, career development or career assistance cell now lot of opportunities exist and it's not just that uh, you're going to just go there get a degree there are opportunities which we have identified which could look at especially in terms of ports you got uh, uh, op opportunities in the shipping industry you got opportunities in the logistics and supply chain of course along with that in your own field as a consultant as a specialist analyst there are a lot of roles which are being offered and i only request each one of you who has joined for this program or who look forwards to join for this program does not just rely on what is happening in this course because this course is all about how you are how you are going to be learning this concepts it is all going to be very immersive it is all going to be very experiential it's all going to be all about application of the knowledge to the specific domain areas so my request is since you have joined you have taken this decision to join right my only request is 
the journey is going to be tough okay so i i remember the words uh, you are traveling the roads which have been un what is that uncharted uncharted right so probably for you you will have to put in lot of efforts and like he said you are going to be our brand ambassadors and believe me not to scare you okay don't get scared uh, please put in your heart and soul and i'm sure you will enjoy this journey of 2 years and probably when we meet for another meeting after 2 years when you finish your graduation probably you will share your experiences then thank you once again i think uh, it has been a great journey so far and look forward to having this association scale great heights thank you one and all thank you professor kanapuri i think uh, uh, that this is the best program that you have uh, enrolled into and it will certainly give you a leap over the others i think uh, we should also mention our uh, lead faculty who are also present here they are all practicing experts in their field and they will give you also the latest current and hands on knowledge related to uh, maritime management or logistics and supply chain so next i would uh, call upon uh, captain shivanand halve where is captain shivanand halve yeah great he is the warden of cmmi also chief executive officer of masa and more importantly chair of this executive mba committee on behalf of cmmi he has been the driving force to bring this program to fruition you know the last 3 4 months were very hectic and lot of work had to be done to put all those pieces together to make it a success and it's important that we hear from him also how the whole program has been set up shivanand halbe please Uh, good evening uh, ladies and gentlemen um, i feel like a little bit like a fish out of water because uh, having come ashore more than 30 years ago you know shipping is also becoming a little more and more distant you know when i see a ship floating i wonder what happened to archimedes principle and how did i study it those days but never mind here we are uh, i'm going to not speak much about the program but about the people involved with the program uh from the cmmi perspective as captain basin said it all started 4 years ago but by the time it came down to brass tacks and to the board as he mentioned uh, many of us believed that this was an audacious step and it was none other than of course our master captain jha then who took this step and uh, you know cmmi had not seen such a turbulent financial and professional commitment to such a such a such a cause and it did ruffle a lot of feathers no question about it but i guess once you ruffle feathers then you can put some oil and paint on them and you know calm them down which is what has happened and i would like to honor our past master captain ja and i would request professor sumi ja to present a bouquet to captain ja thank you very much captain ja you bore the brunt i must admit that <laughs> yeah watch it watch. as the project uh, took shape and and moved on uh, there were relentless efforts uh, put in by 
the team that is mentioned with Captain Kapil Dev Bahel, as Captain Basin rightly mentioned, uh, extreme detail that he went through. And actually, he gave us a purpose as to how it should be moving ahead. And uh, the team members really pitched in at full strength. Captain Philip Matthew, Captain Dubey, Captain Debu, Captain Vikya Jha himself, Captain Santakumar, Captain Sridharan, they left no uh, stone unturned. I must make a mention here of Captain Pankaj Kapoor. As a part of the team, he took on the role of the project manager. We all knew that it's going to be tough, but it's only when he started doing it, we realized how tough it was, where he crisscrossed the country, making presentations all over to our chapters, uh, talking to seafarers, talking to, taking phone calls relentlessly, relentlessly, answering emails, answering questions, answering our questions, uh, which were quite challenging at times. And uh, when the program finally was coming to this juncture, I remember the famous dialogue from the Shole, Kitne Admi Te? That's the final question which we had to ask him, and he, he answered, <laughs> which is 39 now, which is a little more than three which, which Gambar Singh had. Uh, during, again, this journey and the relentless and numbers of meetings that we had with uh, IIM, uh, the one person, our go-to person, was Professor Sumi Jha. And, you know, in a very calm demeanor, she would address our issues. Okay, meet me Monday afternoon, 4 o'clock, and we will solve those issues. And, uh, ma'am, I must mention that though outwardly we may also appear very professional and you know, our questions may have been very genuine, but believe me, underneath, beneath the surface, we were at times like cats on a hot tin roof. <laughs> it, it was quite a turbulent period. Uh, I must acknowledge the support that we had or have from our industry colleagues, Captain Tushar Pradhan of Maritime Union of India, Mr. Devli of INSA, Mr. Rajiv Nayar, he's here, IMEI. Sir, even if it's a company of Master Mariners program, I must acknowledge the Institute of Marine Engineers of India support big time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, our lead faculty, as Captain Debu mentioned, is probably the best in the business in the maritime world. We have Mr. Jagmeet Makkar, who is here from, I saw him here just now. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mr. Jagmeet Makkar. He came all the way from Hong Kong to attend this program today. Thank you very much, Jagmeet. We have Captain Rahul Bhargav here. Uh, okay, he's a lead faculty. Captain Pankaj Kapoor himself is also a lead faculty. And we have a number of people who are going to be the adjunct faculty for this, uh, for this program. Uh, the fact that from the industry we have such a large presence uh, also shows the interest the industry has in this, in this program, which is a very nice thing. And, uh, well, we look forward to your support because we will be approaching you for their case studies, for their internship and, you know, contact programs we will have. I cannot stop but make a mention here that it is one of the rare occasions that we have five chairmen of Shipping Corporation of India who are present. One is the current one and four past ones, which is unusual, unusual. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Joshi. Thank you. Uh, another, a few of the other people, other luminaries who are present here and again who thought it very worthwhile to be here is uh, Captain Sevraj Mehta, North of England, or sorry, North Standard, I need to be correct, from p &I Club. If there is anything about liability insurance, this is the man to go to, you want to know. Captain Milind Patankar, Transworld Group, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here. And if I have missed out any names, please do pardon me, it is just an oversight, and the fact that we are a little over time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Captain Halbe. And uh, I think uh, uh, very rightly, we should also acknowledge our uh, lead faculty in the maritime sector. So can I request uh, Captain Jagmeet Makkar, uh, Mr. Jagmeet Makkar to come forward for a bouquet presentation, please? 
request uh, Captain Bhandarkar to give the bouquet. Captain Bhatnagar, please. Bhargav, sorry, Captain Bhargav. And I'll uh, request Captain Dubey. Captain Dubey. Captain Dubey, please, may I request you to come forward? And we'll also give to our uh, lead faculty, Captain Pankaj Kapoor. Our C C CEO, Captain Sashi Kumar. So uh, our next speaker, is Captain Pankaj Kapoor himself. He's also warden of CMMI, and he's our project manager for this program. So I think Captain Halbe has already introduced him as to all the efforts that he has taken to bring this program to this inauguration stage. Also to make a note that he has been, he, he uh, has been a master mariner, but also a postgraduate in law and maritime law and his, has his own legal practice going on. So may I request him to give the presentation, providing you the nitty gritties and the program itself, so that you all have a knowledge. And at the end of our program, at the end of our session, we'll have a short Q&A session also, in case you have any questions to ask. Yeah? So may I request Captain Pankaj Kapoor to present. Thank you. And good evening. Uh, despite the illustrious welcome with our, which our Captain Basin has already offered, I would still like to welcome the dignitaries uh, who are on the stage. Uh, my friends, colleagues, professors from IIM, dignitaries who spared, who took time out to attend our uh, prestigious function today, and of course, our fellow students. I'm still a student myself, so I would uh, address them as fellow students. Uh, at the risk of repetition, Captain Basin said that a lot of things went over our head when we went to uh, meet the IM for the first time. Well, imagine my position. Nothing would stay there. At least he could say went over my head. I should say it. everything slipped off my head. So that's number one. And uh, number two, Captain Dubey, uh, Captain Devu rather, uh, welcomed uh, Professor Kanapuri as a captain. Sir, we welcome you in our fraternity. And not only you, you would be, uh, like to welcome Professor Jha, Professor uh, Weepin, and the entire law, uh, uh, presence of uh, I am into our fraternity, and everybody is a captain for us. So, <laughs> welcome. Uh, and finally, uh, I have. Um, you know, with a very emotional uh, touch. All seafarers, their lives are stuck either at home or ship, home, ship, home, ship, and that is what our life is. But we all aspire to be something brilliant in life. That is what we always aspire. We always feel that there should be something which we should do even beyond what we have already excelled. A little bit of CMMI. CMI has a legacy of mentoring uh, legacy of uh, bringing up the people, making the best of the seafarers into excellent seafarers. That is what CMI has done always. And it is also in line in that same pursuit that CMI decided to venture into this unchallenged or rather uncharted territory under the leadership of uh, Captain Jha. At one time we thought it was unachievable, but today with an ex uh, exquisite and unflinching support of IIM, we feel that we have nearly reached there, but the journey has only begun. We are not going to stop here. 
is going to happen every year, year after year, with much better and better results. I, I'm looking forward to this kind of a support, like uh, Captain Halviser has already said, from the industry. So I've been given the task to quickly take you through what exactly this program is. I hope this thing works from here. Oh, great. Thank you. So it's a maritime revolution, we all agree. It's the only course, I believe, in India, and not only in India, I believe it's the only course of this kind in the Southeast Asia. So it's a very, very unique course. It's an MBA. We, we have a feeling, a rather, a rather there, there is a feeling in the market that it is a maritime management. I would like to dispel that. It is actually a logistics and supply chain, 80% of it which is being taught by IIM, and 20% is being taught by uh, CMMI. So it's actually a logistics and supply chain course with a flavor of shipping. Shipping is a part of logistics and supply chain, but logistics and supply chain by itself is a massive industry. As per uh, uh, the government of India figures, we are, we are close to $450 billion industry right now. And it's about to touch somewhere around 500 and 520 billion dollars very soon. And that time, when we touch those levels, even today, when I, we, we are advisors as, as lawyers, we are advisors to a couple of freight forwarders, and they are desperately short of people who understand logistics and supply chain. When we touch that 500 billion uh, level, that is the time the students of this course would be coming out in the market. Presently, they learn on the job. So it takes them 10, 12 years, 15 years to reach a particular stage. We are going to provide them immediately as soon as they come out with the adequate knowledge to address this problem, which is right now. We have plenty of people at the, opera at the, at the uh, operational level, but we have very little people at the managerial level. That is where this course is going to pitch in. I don't need to speak too much of I am Mumbai. Everybody knows it's the finest institute in the country, number one in logistics and supply chain. And we are very, 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 very proud that they have accepted us as a part of this course. About CMI, I think Captain Basin, sir, Captain Halvi, sir, and Captain Jha are sitting examples of what is CMMI, sir. Program overview, it's a two-year degree program. I need to emphasize on this word that it is a degree program but specially designed with the help, with the support of IIM, it has been specially designed to be completed in three years. That option is there for three years. If anybody wishes to finish it in two years, nothing like it. But if somebody wants to do the first year, go back to sale in the second year, he, cannot, he or she can come back and do it in the third year. So it's a very flexible program. And there is one thing which I would like to bring to everybody's attention that IIM in their history have never diluted any of their course. This is the only course where they have diluted and they have allowed us to do a two-year course in three years. So once again, we are very grateful. Captain Basin said that we went with, <laughs> yes, thank you. Captain Basin and Captain Halvey sir said that we went with a lot of you know, questions in our mind and Professor Jha and Professor Khanapuri was very, very decent to accept most of them. They understood the problems of our uh, industry. So it's only course. We can do that two year in three years. And as you can see on the screen, it has 19 management and 11 maritime, that is total 30 courses divided into multiple modules. And of course, in addition to that, we have electives, that means the management, as well as maritime electives, where a student can choose any five management or any five maritime electives. This is the program structure. We have uh, uh, multiple modules. Module one, you can see on the top, is online. So if it's an online module, it'll have an online exam. So module one is online. The list of the topics or the courses which are covered under module one is mentioned there. And then we have module three, uh, two. Once again, it's an online one. It's supply chain and um, uh, operation research and human, uh, uh, the, the letters are not very clear. Probably the screen is shaking. So five of them there. And then we have module three. This is in person. This is going to happen 
and with the with, with the demand of the seafarers and the demand of people who are actually ashore they said that look it is very difficult for us to attend 3 months of offline course so we have condensed it into 6 weeks but that is also only once a year that means jan feb 25 jan feb 26 for 6 weeks a person has to be there to uh, attend the offline course and very grateful to we have captain arun mehta who guided us through this thank you very much sir for that and uh, so it's a, a six weeks in jan feb 25 and six weeks in jan feb 26 that means only once a year a person has to be there uh, for six weeks in the campus and then we have an internship for which captain halve sir has already requested support from this entire industry unless we have the support i don't think even even today the support which we have had is the position is the reason why we have reached this position and thank you very much for that and then we have module 5 once again it becomes online this is to be taken by iim uh, just i'll request i'll just go back module 3 is actually to be taken by cmmi module 4 internship module 5 Uh, uh, by IIM, only the last topic, the last course which is there under Module Five is CMI. So we are actually going to take six courses out of the entire lot. And then we have Module Six, which is once again my management electives. This is also online. Module Seven is in person. So these are maritime electives. So this will be in person. So most of the maritime subjects are uh, offline. and then we have more uh, sorry we have uh, module 8 which is global uh, program and then module 9 which is capstone project capstone is i think madam would correct me if i am wrong it's a summary of all that we have studied from module 1 to module 8 is that correct madam yeah and project and project thank you very much for that so i was right you know when when i said everything went over our head and for me it all slipped down my head <laughs> thank you very much for guiding us all along that's very grateful of you madam uh benefits it's a blended learning program 80% online 20% offline uh, designed for middle and senior level management professionals participants now are awarded a degree by the iim so it's going to be a degree program of iim and the degree will be given by iim and it's an excellent place for networking professionals just just to um, bring to uh, everybody's attention that we have had we have been approached by some of the finest people in the industry to be a faculty some of them are sitting here madam is here madam joshi is here and our lead faculties are here we have been approached by vice chairman of international chamber of shipping who wishes to contribute towards this unique program we have been approached by a gentleman who is an associate professor of mit to be a part of the teaching faculty here so this course this course has attracted tremendous tremendous attention in the market and we wish to maintain that for the future Uh, batches also for mariners the eligibility is of course graduation plus 3 years of cdc sailing time for non mariners it is graduation plus 5 years of work experience blended program once again it's repeated 2/3 and 1/3 this is the fees in fact it is the lowest amongst you all the iims Uh, a lot of people we we in fact uh, like uh, captain halbe said that we went a lot of difficult questions to iim and we said look it's not possible 15 lakhs is too much so they were kind enough to say all right we'll divide it 10 lakhs at the time of admission 5 lakhs after 12 months so that kind of a relief also we have got from iim which once again i'm grateful to that application deadline is over now so the slide has no value right now the program is suitable for professionals not only in the shipping industry please allow me to stress again the program whoever comes out of this degree that person has a job opportunity in logistics supply chain 
importers, exporters, international traders, multimodal transport operators, PNI clubs, marine insurance, ports, customs, the entire logistic industry opens up. And when you have a stamp of IIM, not only India, the entire world opens up to you. So that is the uniqueness and the excellence of this program. Grab the opportunity. Well, I think I should congratulate the students who are here. If you could kindly just raise your hands once. Oh, lovely, we have so many, so many. Thank you. I thought there were only two or three, but we have so many. You have done, you have taken one of the finest decisions of your life. You have grabbed the opportunity. Please understand that I am, once again, we went for a difficult question, and I was very kind enough to say that, yes, whoever comes out of this degree will get IIM alumni status. That is very, very huge thing. You, one cannot imagine, you know, sitting with the chairman or the managing director of some company who's an IIM alumni, you are going to sit and have a cup of coffee and biscuits with that person when there is an alumni meet. That is the kind of networking. That's the kind of exposure what you get after your seafaring. It's one of the finest decisions you have taken in your life, and we welcome you. And thank you very much for this patience. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you, Captain Pankaj Kapoor, for elucidating the whole program itself. And I think the students who are sitting there would have got a fair idea and the picture. And all our dignitaries also, so that in the future you can also recommend many more students to be able to join in the next program, uh, next years that uh, will come up on this aspect. Thank you very much. So we have uh, uh, also dignitaries sitting on the dais. Uh, Captain B.K. Tyagiji, Chairman and Managing Director, Shipping Corporation of India. He was also awarded as CEO of the Year, PSU, by the Business Leader of the Year Awards 2024. Thank you very much, sir, for coming here and uh, motivating our students also, as well as all the other dignitaries as to what should we do as CMMI and IM collaboration for future. So, Let's uh, hear from you, sir. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Respected DG Saab, nautical advisors, team CMMI, team I am a Mumbai. And uh, I got uh, my four gurus here. Sri Arun Gupta ji, Anup Sharma ji, Captain B.B. Sina and Madam Josie. You have played a wonderful role in my life and I'm here because of you. This is a wonderful gift to the industry by CMMI and I am in Mumbai. I have been a student of uh, uh, IMM Ahmedabad and as a mariner, I understand the importance of such courses to mariners. This can really play a fantastic role in your career growth. And this is a, especially when it is designed for the logistic purpose, this will be a fantastic thing which has happened to this Indian industry. And the timing is perfect when country is flying, growing plus 8%. Government of India is coming out with new, new policies for the shipping sector. So cannot be better timing than this. So thank you very much, CMMI and IMM for this fantastic gift. I'll call this as a gift also to the country and to the entire industry. Professor I am, he mentioned during his brief speech, and he was literally challenging mariners. This would be students, that they will make his students to work 18, 18 hours a day. I, on behalf of all mariners, seafarers, I assure you, Professor, and our entire team of IIM Mumbai, that these uh, mariners, they are very hardworking. They can run the islands moving from one place to other place. They can sustain the islands without any external support. 
that is a capability these mariners have their will they can face any challenge only challenge to you as a professor would be to convert this attitude of mariners when you change them from a hardcore mariner to a proper manager so this will be the all and anyway, i will be little brief on this because already our dg saab and the sharma saab is waiting for the turn so in the end once again on behalf of the industry and on behalf of shipping corporation of india we will support you in all ways it may be in form of internship or any support even whenever we have got so many stalwarts here from the industry we will be all happy to come and visit sometimes and interact with the professor interact with the students so that finally we get the good products from this 2 years or 3 years program thank you very much and congratulate one second yeah thank you captain tyagi i think uh, you have really motivated the students who are sitting there and then also by his own example of having done the mba through i am ambedkar and also thank you sir for giving the support to cmmi for internship as well as later on uh, maybe uh, as employment also to the to the students so thank you very much sir uh, also we will invite mr arun sharma executive chairman indian register of shipping he is also the recipient of the most prestigious varuna award india's highest recognition in the maritime sector also during his tenure irs became recognized as a leading classification society and he was appointed chairman of the international association of classification societies so may i welcome uh, arun sharma ji and uh, request a few words from him thank you respected uh, director general shipping mr sham jagannathan professor kanapuri from the institute of management mumbai captain basin captain binesh tyagi other distinguished professors from iim mumbai ladies and gentlemen and uh, if i have missed any it's my fault but uh, i think it's a lovely gathering today evening and uh, a good platform to share some thoughts on the training in the marine industry i had this pleasure to be here today at the invitation of the company of master mariners to attend the inaugural ceremony of the executive mba in maritime management logistics and supply chain launched in partnership with the indian institute of management mumbai i would like to congratulate both the company of master mariners as well as the institute of management mumbai Uh, for this very very attractive initiative going back to the inception people have you know already spoken a lot about what the mba brings to the uh, industry and the maritime industry uh, just to go back the time when we actually entered sea uh, the at the inception the education training in maritime industry both for the navigation and the engineering cadets we trained at the training ship dufferin till in 1949 uh, dmat separated out and had their own uh, temporary institute in bombay and calcutta and it was only in 1954 that the marine engineering training was actually started formally at the uh, their own premises in calcutta 19 tartala road and also in mumbai uh, both the navigation and the maritime uh, engineering training uh, thereafter took off in a big way and the recognition actually came because the kind of uh, space gifted by the government of west bengal in calcutta along with the gifting of about 500 acres to the institute of uh, technology kharagpur and i think that was the beginning of the marine engineering in its real sense the training Uh, basically i think uh, 
what I have seen over the years, that we are now talking of uh, an MBA training, which probably would add a very different kind of a angle to the marinas, who have basically been trained uh, in a very, very focused manner, uh, whether in the navigation side or in the engineering side. You know, down the line, I, I came out to see, when I came out to see, uh, shipping had not only a shine or a sheen, but it also had what they call a glamour to be coming out to sea, which somewhere down the line I think has slowly been weaned off and disappeared. I think what we really need to do is, while it's good that we are now entering into a very new area of management, but I think it is time that uh, the Spectre Director General is here, I think we must look at bringing back that kind of a, you know, the attractiveness to the shipping industry where uh, I would say more and more people get inclined to come out to sea because the standards of quality in shipping can only be maintained by good people trained in a better manner and, uh, you know, to really bring us to the, uh, we, we, we don't believe in supplying quantity uh, uh, of uh, seafarers and uh, professionals at sea, but I think the qualitative aspect must be improved, and that is something we must keep in mind. Uh, I have discussed this thought before of my own, but because of my own lack of involvement and uh, keenness of people who could press the button to open the doors, uh, the thoughts went never beyond this point. I always believe that the entry into sea should be where Initially, common training is imparted for cadets to choose either the navigation branch or the engineering branch at some point of time and not at the initial stage as soon as they enter. I mean, this is a, a practice being followed by some of the countries, especially the Scandinavian countries, where you have an option, come out to the training at sea, and thereafter, after about a year or so, you decide whether you want to really go into navigation or you go into engineering. I also believe that a training has got to be much more broad-based when you enter a, a sea carrier, so that at some point of time an exit route also should be provided, that if somebody is wanting to do something different after maybe five years of sea or seven years of sea, he should have the option to exit out. But before you really exit out, I think there should be a channel, uh, which I have stated earlier, and we have so many of our colleagues who have done that, that after you spend time to become a master mariner or a become a uh, chief engineer, I think there should be channels to seamlessly transit to things like marine law, insurance, p &I clubs, and there are so many ship management where the, once you are entering sea as a profession, you will see that you're not limited to uh, once a captain, always a captain, once a chief engineer, always a chief engineer, should not be the, 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 the end all of the sea career. And the branching out to uh, areas of law, insurance, etc. I think that must be kept in mind to make the whole thing very holistic. And that will attract a much better talent to come out to than just those you know who want to sail for a couple of years and maybe get into you know, some kind of a either a small business or whatever it is. Uh, the, the other thing which I think uh, it's probably right to bring out is that today, I think shipping is perched on a very, very interest or a cusp where the next 20 years are going to be very different than the last 20 years. Uh, you know, the, the, the entire shipping fleet would need to be radically change with the kind of technology available today. And if that happens in the next five to seven years, I believe that that will be the biggest technical transition ever after the transition from sail to steam somewhere in the 1860, 1890. And I believe that what we are actually deliberating on some of the platforms where classification societies meet is that I think we may not, the seascape is, is interesting, it is challenging, but still is very hazy in terms of technology and in terms of the new innovations which are going to come in. So you need to be recruiting people of a different caliber 
to meet the challenges of next 20 years with a very, very different kind of a fleet. Because the stress now, so far the stress has been on basically the kind of uh, uh, the, the, sorry, the entire emphasis has been on designing ships, on the cost of running a ship for per ton mile of cargo carried. I think it is now immediately shifting with the climate change coming in, with the smart shipping coming in. It is going to move to the, the whole concept will be the kind of, uh, uh, the, the instead of fuel consumed, it will be the emission emitted per ton mile of cargo carried. And the main design point will be the profiling of ships, as well as the, uh, uh, what you really, call the, uh, the, the, the more, uh, you know, the optimized speed would be the main thing to bring down the emissions. So I think we need to look at a different caliber. And what I've always said is that we are already recruiting the new kind of people like the chief technology officer, somebody who is more conversant with the decarbonization. We had, at IRS, we already recru recruited these. And I think they probably, if required, I would say that would also contribute to training people at the IIM, and I'm sure that we can do that both as, as part of the faculty, as well as internship in the IRS, where we carry out our own classes in the IRS Academy. Now, I, I, I think the, the, uh, today's attempt, or rather I would say that what has been launched today is a great program. Uh, we are, when we come out from sea or we, when you're working at sea, probably the managerial instincts are honed only once you come ashore. But with this program, there'll be much more to offer uh, from the people who are already trained uh, to take things forward. And uh, I only wish that uh, you will get more and more people coming into this program so that you can have people who actually can hit the ground running once they come ashore. And I think that I would like to wish this program Good luck, Godspeed, and thank you all again very much. Thank you, Arun Sharma ji. Uh, I think uh, what you are quite different from what we have experienced in the past. And I think it's the right time to take this uh, program uh, forward because you will be able to, as a student, be able to imbibe what is the latest things coming in and be right in the forefront when these uh, changes take place. And thank you, sir, for giving the support from IRS for also this program and towards uh, CMMI. Thank you so much, sir. L let me welcome uh, our chief guest, Sri Shyam Jagannathanji, IAS, Administrative Service Officer from the Assam Meghalaya Kedar, Additional Secretary to the Government of India. He has been in office now of the Director General of Shipping for one, almost one year and has already formulated a number of transformations towards revitalizing the Indian shipping industry and creating initiatives towards Maritime India Vision 2030. Let, let us welcome Sri Shyam Jagannathan ji, and uh, here is words of wisdom. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Namaskar. My eminent colleague, Captain B.K. Tyagi, CMD, Shipping Corporation of India, Captain Basim, CMMI, Professor Khanapuria from IIM Mumbai, Sri Arun Sharma ji, Executive Chairman, IRS. Stalwarts who are off the dais, who have contributed every bit to the maritime domain. The eminent faculty from IIM Mumbai, the fortunate pioneering batch of the EMBA jointly being 
run by IM Mumbai and CMMI. Fortune occasion to witness firsthand the commencement of a course, the paces of which commenced around 2019. Firstly, my interaction with the CMMI taught me more about the maritime industry in terms of the human element, the challenges one feels when you're on board, and shipping isn't an easy industry. It's very eloquently stated for our own country, 90% by volume, 70% by value. Globally, it's simpler said by the Secretary General of IMO, who simply said, if shipping stops, half of the world starves and the rest half freezes to death. So shipping is critical. And industry associations like CMMI, IMEI are setting the standards and grooming the coming generations. I am Mumbai belongs to a very eminent path setting academic tradition, that of the Indian Institutes of Management, which have given some of the most seminal and fertile minds in management and thought leadership not just to India, but to the entire globe. And it is a synergistic partnership between these two, as Arun Sharma ji had used the word, a very interesting cusp in time. Niti, in its previous avatar, was a core specialist in the supply chain and logistics engagement. The director, Professor Manoj Tiwariji, from the IIT Kharagpur schooling, has been one of the foremost seminal minds in his engagement with supply chain logistics. I had the good privilege of interacting with Professor Khanapuria in my previous assignment, and that was in the Santa Cruz Electronics Export Processing Zone, which is a special economic zone. Now I'll talk about, very briefly, transitions. What was envisaged, and this is coming from the observation made on the semiconductor crisis during the COVID. SEEPS was originally envisaged to boost the electronic hardware and the chipset industry. And it was one of the pioneering special economic zones in India one of the first. Today, it has transformed into 33 acres of the perhaps most strongly and densely populated geospatially jewelry units. You have the Bharat Diamond Bores, which is the world's largest diamond bores. And India stakes claim in the diamond trade to saying that out of 15 diamonds that are traded worldwide, 14 pass through the Bharat Diamond Bourse here in Mumbai. Seeps, Seeps just processing diamonds actually is just 33 acres in Andheri. 25% of the import of finished polished stones studded in jewelry comes from this 33 acres into the United States. 25% of the US imports in studded jewelry comes from this 33 acres. And US is the world's largest importer of finished jewelry. So that engagement again there was for supply chain logistics. And I'll give you a perspective. Jewelry design essentially depends on trends, on designs. And how do you basically sell your designs, convert them into the manufacturing, and leverage the value chain, 
and pitch it in the market just at the right time, the full value chain. Coming back to the maritime domain, globally, logistics basically contributes to the GDP as a cost to the value chain. So the European average or the US average is around seven and a half, eight percent. India, the cost is incrementally 13 to 14, 15 percent. The second part is our modal shift. When you look at the mix between road, rail, water, that modal mix is where, say, if you compare China and India, the spread in the water is much higher because water gives you, per unit cost, more value in terms of the freight that you can transport and the cost is lower, but on roads, it is higher. What I am Mumbai is going to do is infuse this efficacy in the entire supply chain management to bring in the kind of academic rigor and refinement that needs to be applied to bring down our logistics cost and make it globally competitive to the rest of the world. And that is where the first batch of the EMBA steps in into the maritime industry as the needle point of that thought sphere that is going to change the entire human capital. Well, very briefly, because firstly, I'm guilty of having come late, courtesy the traffic, and I wouldn't want to implore you further, but please bear me uh, for, say, another two or three minutes. The maritime economy is rapidly changing. The Indian maritime intent is substantial. I would request that while the course is being taught, reference is taken to the Amritkal Vision 2047 and the Maritime India Vision 2030 because it encompasses the entire umbrella of what has been changed. The standards for testing competency and watchkeeping which actually looks at the professional engagement while you're on board. It looks at basically how you look at your certificate of competencies both on the engine side and on the deck side in the vessel is under comprehensive revision. Technology is a disruptor. I spoke about diamonds. I mean, the initial De Beers was a diamond is forever. With lab-grown diamonds now, it's changed to a diamond for everybody. So what cost you, like say, 100 rupees or 100 uh, units of a cost as original stone, today is around, say, 5 to 20 rupees. So that's where technology disrupts. Now in the maritime domain, IMO has propounded what is called as the, national, the maritime single window. Now, we are on the anvil of a national logistics bill. It's supposed to get into an act. The Merchant Shipping Act also, which is 1958, is to be revised into the Merchant Shipping Bill. We are bringing in transparency in freight charges. All custom handling agents, freight forwarding agents, would have this single unified logistics integrated portal, the ULIP, while you have the national logistics portal as mixed and matched with the Prime Minister's Gati Shakti program that has seven drivers, the seven drivers of raid roll, water, ports. In the maritime domain, the Sagarmala project was mentioned. It's a phenomenal capital investment on your ports. You're looking at transshipment ports, you're looking at deep harbor ports, you're looking at focused niche ports because you're bringing in private partnership through model concessionaire agreements for terminal management. So that means you will have a ready engagement in the professional domain and you would be essentially professional managers in the 360 degree spectrum engagement in the maritime domain. There are multiple challenge areas which Indian maritime faces. A few were very briefly touched upon by Arun Sharma ji. On the technical side, you have the decarbonization part where you got to look at the alternate fuels which are going to be available, the entire aging fleet to be converted. There are concerns with the age norms. There are also commercial partnerships such as the vessel sharing agreement. 
there are issues wherein you need to have a niche product which provides you lower cost input such as maritime insurance. I had been engaging with uh, Captain Sauraji also on this because he does represent the uh, PNI club and that's a separate engagement. But I wish this course the very best and uh, as the Director General of Shipping my eminent colleague, the nautical advisor is here, the chief engineer was also here. We would request that you have a good internship program because those who would come from a non-marine background or would essentially have logistic experience would need to be introduced to the entire nitty gritty of how the maritime industry works. And uh, the internship as offered by Arun Sharmaji would uh, perhaps be one of the best because not only is IR class proven itself as a classification society, it's chaired by an eminent chairman who himself chaired the IACS, which is the international body. So each of them, Captain Tyagi here, Madam Joshi, sir, all who have been here will contribute and uh, I'm certain this has a very bright future for the young thoughts and minds and young citizens of tomorrow who are going to contribute to this national development. I'm grateful for this privilege and before I do close, a note of apology for having uh, delayed the proceedings today and uh, thank you for being so patient. Jai Hind. Uh, thank you, sir, for giving your valuable time to come over here and address the uh, gathering. And uh, also the perspective that you have given, the complete perspective, the overview of how India is progressing, including how, to, how the logistic sector, the Gati Shakti, the Sagar Mala, and the port-led development, how all these are going to bring about lots of job opportunities to people in the maritime and the logistic sector. And I think uh, this program will really uh, help those students who would like to you know, take that lead in any of these various portfolios and areas available to you. So thank you, sir. And let us uh, 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 do the formalities, which is the uh, good formalities part of it, which is the presentation of mementos to all our speakers also, and also to some of the uh, dignitaries who are sitting off the dais. So first, let me start with okay, no problem. So I'll request Captain Halbe first to give the memento to our DG Shipping, Sri Sham Jakarnathanji. I'll request our master, Captain Mahendra Basin, to give the memento to Professor Khanapuri. Uh, Captain Vivek Bandarkar. Is there? He's, go he's gone outside. OK, no problem. Captain uh, Philip Matthew to give to Captain Tyagi. Uh, Captain Naik, Deputy Master CMMI to present a memento to Mr. Arun Sharma. May I request <coughs> yeah. May I request Captain Bandarkar 
to present a memento to Professor Sumicha. Santa Kumar to give to Professor Rauf Iqbal. Kapoor to give to Professor Shankar Murthy. Our CEO, CMMI, Captain Sasi Kumar to Professor M.S. Mahapatra. Captain Dubey to present to Professor Vipan Kumar. Captain Shail Falbe to present to Professor Jasasvi Mandal. So we have a pleasant duty to inaugurate this program through release of our brochure. So we release the brochure of our EMBA program and formally inaugurate this course. Ask them to come forward for photograph, Professor Jha. Pro, uh, Professor Jha, if you can come closer there, we can take a group photograph. Be careful, be careful.
Hello. Yeah. So we also have our other lead faculty, Amit Oza, who's here, and we would like to present a bouquet to him. Mr. Amit Oza, please come. Captain Basin, will you do the honors, please? So we, we have a, a few minutes left. If you would like to ask any questions as a Q&A session, you have seen the program, you heard our eminent speakers, and if you have any points or doubts, please do clarify. If you have any suggestions also related to internship, etc., we will welcome that uh, point of view. Yeah. Some brochures. So if you have a question, just put up your hand. The mic will come to you. Yeah, yes, there is a question there. Please introduce yourself also, and then the question, please. Hi, everyone. I'm Captain Gaurav Rana from Sea and Beyond. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Right, sir. Uh, congratulations on the course, sir. Um, I'm just maybe taking a step ahead, and there have been inquiries wherein people have asked uh, us about PhD and doctorate. So, um, any plans on that? Is there a um, is there a way forward where you know people can not just look at a post graduation, but probably a PhD as well? Thank you. I, I'll put this uh, question to uh, Professor Khanapuri. Yeah, I think uh, we are very happy uh, to note that uh, there are some queries for people uh, to leverage their uh, understanding, uh, create new bodies of knowledge through their PhD. We do have program called as uh, uh, fellow program or PhD program for working professionals. Okay, so we do have those options there. And definitely, we welcome uh, uh, interested uh, professionals who want to actually continue their academic journey. Uh, of course, uh, just a kind of uh, uh, inputs at this point. Unlike what we have in an executive MBA, PhD has got its own uh, requirements or challenges. It is self-driven, highly, uh, highly uh, uh, intensive in terms of the academic rigor. And at the end of the day, we are also looking at what kind of academic contributions would the person be making. Of course, we are there to guide them. And we would be more than happy and welcome those professionals who are interested to do their PhD. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Captain Bandarkar has a question. Captain Bandarkar. Congratulations to CMI, and I am I'm also part of it. But yes, uh, I'm looking ahead. I'm looking at uh, some avenues like uh, maritime law and maritime insurance, like uh, Arun Sharma ji was talking about. Uh, I hear of uh, regular cases where issues are coming up on law. And so many uh, uh, cases come up where big claims are made. But there are not many people to fight. They don't understand. People in court, you see, are fighting maritime law cases which are not understood by them. So what is our plan go into that area of marine insurance and maritime law? Maybe a new chapter, new collaboration has to start. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, let me put it like this. Uh, it's not just about only maritime law or insurance. In fact, uh, 
there are multiple areas in which we are exploring the options of making uh, professionals uh, uh, learn new things and develop their capabilities and we would be happy more than welcome right now we are doing some uh, uh, program a short term program in collaboration with some uh, some organizations and i would be happy to receive the proposal if you have something wherein we can uh, explore it's only that we don't just jump into that what we would request is come up with a proposal what kind of approach we need to follow who are the potential people who are going to be receiving this and i'm announcing it here if you have got some kind of options to offer short term programs which is about let's say less than 3 months up to 6 months we would be more than happy to review those proposals and we would be happy to take it forward from there yes huh yeah well i just so to put this sir uh, just a sec just a sec no, sir uh, i just wanted to inform the house uh, we are working on what is called as the sace smart sac the south asian center of excellence for sustainable maritime transportation this will be on the bimstex platform it is supposed to be uh, housed in the same maritime training institute at powai which schools uh, basically the cadets uh, who eventually take up the alumni here is uh, uh, captain tyagi himself uh, this will have multiple verticals and uh, uh, when you mention maritime law and insurance it is looking at the india maritime center it is also looking at the india maritime arbitration center which will look at admiralty claims and other aspects so that also is a vertical i would suggest since you are engaging on the uh, logistics plus maritime uh, perhaps i am could look at uh, academic partnership because uh, even the singapore mtf is also partnering in this institution so just just inform the house thank you so much thank you sir and also we have captain pankaj kapoor a uh, legal uh, expert legal luminary who can also give some points on this <laughs> all right thank you very much first of all thanks a lot for patience and thank you captain vivek bandarkar to ask this question thank you professor kanapuri to answer that and uh, dg sir to answer this question as uh, professor kanapuri has said that i am already doing a course with op jindal it's one of the top most law institutes narsimonji symbiosis i'm already teaching there and they do have a 3 month course like professor kanapuri has said and it will be lovely if cmi could join hands and do a similar course with iim we are always looking for guidance from iim sir thank you very much yeah. thank you any more questions Okay, since we have, we have no more questions, I will invite Captain Santa Kumar to give his vote of thanks. You know, I just want to add something here. Uh, when the course started, there were a lot of queries. The executive committee was had been handling questions. and the two things which were always coming about the jobs and the internship i'll just name the few companies which have come forward and given us the promise that they will especially for the students who are present here and the students who have joined us on the line uh, companies like sci captain uh, tyagi is sitting here express feeder captain gill is sitting here samsara captain mukesh ojai is gone msc captain deepak tiwari uh, hindum uh, many and Trapper, Trans Global uh, Energy Freight Powder, Trapper, Captain Daniel Chopra, they have even given us written confirmation. We look forward to giving them the internship or the jobs. So that's something which everybody looks forward to. Thank you. Transferred also. I'm just now told by Captain Kapoor. Transferred also. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have captain anand and bhat uh, from the headquarters western naval command uh, he is also present among us i will also uh, uh, captain captain bhat sir there are you yes sir we just would like to acknowledge your presence thank you so much uh, you know in the may time especially with the hauti thing going on you know we everybody knows the role of indian navy is not only for the indian seafarers but all seafarers within that region 
and the indian navy when they are present there we have recently had a meeting of safety and uh, uh, dg shipping sir their people were there there the when the uh, houthis or the other people pirates when they see a indian naval vessel they get worried because they take action unlike other nationality navies so big round of applause for them sir thank you Sri Shyam Jagannathan, Director General of Shipping India, Captain B K Tiyagi, Chairman and Managing Director, Shipping Corporation of India, Sri Arun Sharma, Executive Chairman, Indian Register of Shipping, eminent members of Maritime, Indian Institute of Management, Mumbai, and the friends from Logistics Community, distinguished ship owners and leaders of Maritime and Shipping Services in India, distinguished teachers from Indian Institute of Management. and the uh, faculties visiting faculties and the uh, lead faculties fellow mariners ladies and gentlemen good evening as we conclude this significant event it is my honor and privilege to uh, extend word of thanks to all of you first and foremost i would like to express our heart, uh, heartfelt uh, gratitude to sri shyam jagannathan director general of shipping for gracing, gracing the occasion with his presence and for his unwavering support towards the maritime education and shipping in india sir you have mentioned about seeps i would request you in the you know coming uh, revision of the maritime shipping act in india please consider having a maritime special economic zone in india probably this will help the uh, the future management professionals which we are going to groom now within 2 years of time they it will give them an opportunity special thanks to captain b k tiyagi chairman and shipping corporation of india for his inspiring words and encouragement your insights and experience are val- invaluable to us and we embark on this new journey in 1998 when i joined ship- uh, company of master mariners as a first member we used to have only monthly meetings in the seamen seamen's club a prince of wales uh, building i believe this is today 26 years have passed from a monthly lecture meeting organization we have transformed ourselves into a distinguished institution which is going to provide future management training in india in the coming years i hope to see cmmi providing entire maritime education and examination for the dg shipping sir mr arun sharma executive chairman indian ministry of shipping we deeply appreciate your attendance and the perspective you have shared your leadership and vision are greatly admired so we have two mariners sitting on this dais one is captain bk tyagi and another is mr arun sharma these two gentlemen has when they started their career ashore they did not have any mari- uh, specialized maritime and shipping executive mba course to strengthen their uh, you know career future students you can look upon these two gentlemen and look forward to become the head of the institutions which they are serving i would like to also extend sincere thanks to the eminent members of maritime and indian institute of management and logistics community your presence today underscores the importance of this initiative and collaborative attempt which cmmi is undertaking we also all a lot of gratitude to the dedicated faculty and staff of uh, indian institute of management they have come and attending this even today especially professor kanapuriya professor sumi sumi and uh, others i don't know their name i wish to also extend the vote of thanks to you <coughs> captain b k jha and his team including captain yashavarban sharma captain arun mehta mr anand tripadi these gentlemen put the seed for this course about 4 years back and today we are celebrating this 
inauguration because of their vision and uh, efforts i also thank you all of you sir we also extend our thanks to captain kadi bell captain pankaj kapoor and current committee of cmmi headed by captain halbe thank you sir our sincere appreciation goes to all industry partners we look forward to all of your support in future for carrying on with this course your support and belief in this venture is very crucial to us lastly we acknowledge the future of the students which the cmma is now undertaking you are the reason which or upon which uh, cmma has embarked upon this uh, mission we hope to how you coming out of the challenges set by mr arun sharma captain bk tegi with flying colors once you do that one i'm sure our director of general shipping will create a platform for you through avenues which he will be able to do for you lastly i thank the ceo of cmmi our secretary at mr sudhir and mr kumar their support in realizing this course and this event is unimaginable i also thank the management of this hotel and the pre, uh, the people behind the uh, their team for giving this premises for this excellent arrangement which they have made if i don't mention about the contribution of pankaj kapoor he has done a wonderful job there were challenges set by all of us but within i think about 30 days of time he came out with 39 candidates wonderful job sir <laughs> members of uh, maritime and the uh, other friends even in this rain the traffic all of you made it to this venue thank you very much last but the least we have friends from the press media and other uh, you know journalists here i thank all of you and look forward to read here and your words will be vibrating tomorrow's news in india thank you sir captain santa kumar has already thanked the hotel staff but i think some part is still remaining right so i think surely sir surely because the captain santa also took a topic of uh, some uh, please. kind of a course please sir, please maritime center and all that the the maritime special economic zone is actually already operational we have a regional office which is being uh, opened in uh gift city on the 15th of august and this is going to be a major platform for flagging from outside india section 22 and section 4 to 6 are being reworked the rofr has been reworked so i think uh, ship leasing ship insurance and uh, uh, probably ship chartering these are three things big time that are going to happen there i just thought i'll inform the house what we have received so that is what i mentioned ship leasing chartering financing is all basically embedded there so because it is essentially maritime focus there uh, that will be in the gift city in gujarat that's what sir is saying thank you captain devu thank, thank you thank you sir thank you uh, so uh, on the uh, uh, reception table outside are some more brochures lying there anybody would like to pick up the brochure is welcome to uh, pick it up and we can move now to the law, uh, to the pool area where we have the cocktails and snacks and then further down is the lawns area where we have the dinner yeah so please partake in that and uh, please uh, network we will be there to also answer any questions which you may have further thank you so much thank you to all the dignitaries on the dais of the dais for gracing this occasion sorry dinner is on the upper deck Yeah, it is on the upper deck, and the uh, cocktails and snacks are right here.
on the right hand side
Yeah.